Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue on Windows 11, we're having a shutdown problem, or your computer is just not shutting down properly, for a variety of reasons here. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into what should hopefully be the solution. And we're going to start off by opening up the start menu, type in control panel. Best result should come back with control panel, so go ahead and open that up. You want to set your view by to large icons, and then you want to select power options. Go ahead and lock click on that. Underneath preferred plans, you want to go select the change plan settings button that corresponds to your plan that's currently selected. So go ahead and left click on that. And now that we're in here, you want to go ahead and select where it says change advanced power settings. Go ahead and left click on that. And now you want to scroll down to where it says PCI Express and click the little plus sign next to it. And then there should be some says link state power management. Go ahead and expand that. And then you see there will be some blue text in here. Go ahead and click inside of that. And then click the drop down and set it to off. Once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and select apply and OK. Now you want to open up the search menu. Type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. Select yes if you receive the user account control prompt. And now into this elevated command line window, you want to type in power CFG space minus sign H space off. So again, power CFG space minus sign H space off OFF. Hit enter on your keyboard. And once you're done with that, you've just disabled hibernation. And if for whatever reason you want to turn it back on, you can just type the same command I did up here, except that instead of typing off, you'll type on. So pretty straightforward, guys. And once you're done with that, something else I want you guys to do here as well will be to type in SFC, followed by a space forward slash scan out. Scan out should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter in the keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once it's done, close out of here and restart your computer.
Okay, so once that's done, guys, hopefully that was able to resolve your problem. And as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do advise you to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.